I'm just fascinated by hallucinations. I just think they're the most amazing things. They, they are as close to a miracle as I ever hope to get. I mean, where is that stuff coming from? You know, uh, the, on a good mushroom rush, in 45 or 50 minutes, I have the impression that I see more art than the human species has created in the last 12,000 years. And where does this stuff come from? If I could capture a single 30 second burst, I could be Peter Max, Yves Saint Laurent, Salvador Dali, Pablo Picasso, and all the rest, and rolled into one. Because the, the amount of creative imagery is staggering. And as artists, I think this is what we should all be challenged by. I would like graphic artists to go in there. These are the people we need to send. You know, These are the people with a unique talent that can serve the rest of us. We can't send instruments with cameras the way we would to Mars or the moons of Jupiter. No, we have to send uh, uh, artists. Artists, preferably with eidetic memories, who can take snapshots and come back and with airbrush, oil, and computer, render these things. Uh, we need to try and create a grammar of hallucinogenesis, uh, probably in a computer environment. We need to try and understand what the laws are that rule these visual transforms. Uh, because this, this is an endless font of images for design and, God forbid, fashion, advertising, uh, the whole thing. I mean, clearly we are dragging images out of the unconscious, but I dare say if we could, if we could access the psychedelic unconscious, there would be few rooms around that look like this one. <laughs> This is a room created out of the assumptions of linear print culture and Bauhaus economics. Uh, but there are other ways to, to do it, and that's what the hallucinogens make so explicit.